Evolutionists claim that the Earth is millions and billions of years old. The Bible says that it's 6,000 years old, that there was a flood of Noah about 4,500 years ago, and therefore the Earth would only have been eroding for about the last 4,500 years. If evolutionists are correct, if the Earth is really millions and billions years old, where's the mud? Where's the mud? You see, if the Earth were millions and billions of years old, then we should have a thick layer of mud throughout the ocean floors, but it's simply not there. When we take a look at the Earth without water, we can see clearly that, among other things, there are flat sand bottoms right up against the continents on all sides, and there's only 4,500 years worth of mud at the mouth of the world's great rivers, such as here, the mouth of the Amazon River, here, the mouth of the Mississippi, or the mouth of the Congo. All the world's great rivers only have 4,500 years worth of mud. Therefore, where's the mud? Think with me for just a moment. This is a diagram of the ocean floor showing a continent, a continental shell, various features on the bottom of the ocean. But if, if the Earth were in fact millions and billions of years old, there should be major thick accumulations of mud on the ocean floor. The problem with that is that we can only find about 400 meters of sediment. This would actually limit the floor of the oceans to being 12 million years old or less because at the time of the flood, the wet mud layers would be eroding rapidly. Mud would wash into the ocean floors at a faster rate initially after the flood, and then slow down as the wet mud layers on the Earth's surface dried out into sedimentary rock. And so the Earth cannot be millions and billions of years old as evolutionists claim, because where's the mud? It simply isn't there. You really can trust the Bible about creation 6,000 years ago and the flood of Noah about 4,500 years ago.